Hi students, welcome back to this session. I hope you all are good and enjoyed the festivals a lot. Now the time is to come back to your studies once again, right? So let us start a very new chapter. So students, a very new chapter for class 7 is transportation in plants and animals. So today we are going to learn about transportation. So first of all, let us understand what do we mean by transportation. What is transportation? So the movement of any substances from one place to another is known as transportation. It's a very simple definition of transportation, right? But we are talking about biology. What do we mean uh, by transportation in biology? So transportation is a life processes in which a material absorbed in one part of the body of an organism is carried to the other parts of their body. It means this transport system is actually the life processes for any living organism, right? So now let us understand why do we need this transportation? What is the need of this transportation? Look students, we all know that for survival of any living organisms, we need two things. One is uh, energy and the other is oxygen, right? We need both of these things for our survival. Now where do we got, get uh, this energy from? Usually we get this energy from food and oxygen from the air, right? Look students, suppose we have eaten some food or particular type of food and digestion has been done. What happened after that? These food must be carried to the other body parts for their utilization, right? Because suppose if it is not done, then what happened? There is no use of that food and we do not get the energy, right? Similarly, this oxygen is also very important because this oxygen help to break down the food to release energy, right? So that means this oxygen and energy must be circulated in our body. And for that reason, we need a system that circulate throughout the body. This transportation is not only happens in animals, but also in plants, right? Like leaf prepares food and it is carried to the other parts of the plant for their survival for their development so that is not only happens in animals it also happens in the plant and lower organisms too they not only transport the useful materials to the body but also the waste materials away from the body right they also circulate the waste materials like carbon dioxide during respiration, the carbon dioxide is released and that carbon dioxide is basically the waste material and that waste material must be out from the get rid of the body and these only can be happen with this circulatory system. So that means we need circulatory system for transportation of useful materials as well as the waste materials. In this way, we can understand what is the need of transportation system. The living organisms need a transportation system to supply them with the food, water and oxygen to carry away the harmful waste materials produced in their bodies. Right? I hope you can understand. In humans, we will see the circulatory system. Right? That transport all the useful material. So the circulatory system is a transport system of the human body which consists of a network that supplies food water, oxygen and other substances throughout the body. So, this circulatory system is basically composed of blood, heart and blood vessels and the blood carries all the essential materials as well as the waste material uh, in our body, right. This circulatory system is also known as cardiovascular system, right. And it was discovered by a scientist called William Harvey. That we'll have to see how it is composed of, how this cardiovascular system is composed of. So this 
cardiovascular system or circulatory system is composed of mainly three parts or components that is blood blood vessels and heart blood is basically the medium through which the all essential and waste product is circulated blood vessels is a tube like structure which runs through all parts of the body which carries these blood and heart heart is a pumping chamber or a pumping station which usually pumps the blood to the different parts of the body right so students we will see how it does so in this chapter in our next lecture or next video and we will study about both plants and animals transportation system i hope you will be clear what i taught you today till then thank you very much go through this video Thank you.